Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be unboxing the October BoxyCharm. Now I have obviously already opened this because I like to prep for what's inside because we're going to be demoing these products. Now if you don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription. You can cancel at any time. Um, it is $21 a month and you get five full-size products. I will have a link down below. Now, recently they have been offering uh, a new subscription service called BoxyLux. And basically every three months, so once a quarter, you will get a bigger box and it is $50. Um, so they're trying to, you know, kind of compete with FabFitFun and you're supposed to be able to get bigger products. Well, you get more products as well, but you're also supposed to get bigger products that cannot fit in this box. And I missed the first one because it was a very select few, um, like a lot of people missed out on the first box, but I am signed up for the one in December. So we uh, will see what is in that one. I'm super excited, but let's go ahead and get into this box. Now I already have my base applied. I've done my brows and my bronzer and everything else um, I'm gonna be pulling from inside the box. All right, so as always, you get a little pamphlet here that has all of the products as well as their prices and like just some information on them. Um, the theme this month is Alter Ego. And here is all the products inside. All right, so the first thing that I'm pulling out is a Dermovia Lace Appeal. It is a black bamboo charcoal peel off mask. Um, so you get two masks in here and this retails for $30. Now it has got, it's got a tube in here and then it's got two lace compression masks. Basically what you do is you put the charcoal mask on and then you put the lace mask over it and press it on the areas that you put the charcoal mask on and you leave it on for like 15 minutes and then you peel it downwards off and um, you just rinse off the residue. I'm obviously not doing this today because I'm getting ready for work, but I think this kind of deserves its own video. Um, I think it could be funny because the last time, I remember when I was a lot younger, I used to love peel off masks. Like in high school, I did them all the time. I did one, I got one in an Ipsy bag. Uh, this was like before I started doing YouTube, but I got one in an Ipsy bag and I remember I lathered that thing on and man, whatever. I pulled it off, like I was almost in tears, like so anyway, I think it could be fun. Hopefully, uh, my pain tolerance is a little better for that one. It says it is a medium peel off effect. I don't know, we shall see. And the next thing that I got is a pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm. I don't know why it's not focusing. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is the balm right here, the packaging. And it did come with a lid, which I appreciate. This is what the balm looks like here. Oh, I like that color. That's like one of my favorite colors, like a minty green. Mmm, it smells really, really good. Now, I have never tried a cleansing balm, so that will be interesting. It says this is made in Korea and you know, um, Korean skincare is like always ahead of us. So I'm really interested to try this. I also recently got a eye cream from pharmacy in my FabFitFun box. And um, I guess whenever I run out of my current skincare routine, I will start using that balm as well as the eye cream. I don't know why I had the need to tell you guys that, but Anyway, um, that retails for $22. Okay, the next thing, we got to a makeup item, guys. This is the Pure Cosmetics Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. And it looks really cool. So let's go ahead and pop this out. 
All right, so here she is here. <clears throat> it opens up like a book. And it looks like you've got three blush shades, a highlight, and then six eyeshadow shades. Now I have already prepped my eyelids. I didn't set them. I haven't been setting them recently, um, but I did prep them with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And off the bat, I will say this isn't my like ideal eyeshadow palette because if you can tell, I mean, that brown is very dark. You don't have a transition shade. The only matte is that brown. Everything else is shimmer. Um, you could use, you know, like this, which that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to use, oh, sorry, this shade right here. I'm going to use that in my crease. And one thing, I don't have... I don't I don't think I have any experience with pure eyeshadows, but um I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit. Okay, that's better. Alright. Um I don't have any experience with pure eyeshadows, but I do with their face products and I've had really good luck with their face products. Like Every face product that I have tried from them, I have really, really enjoyed. And that blush blending out in the crease um, doesn't look too bad. Like, I definitely don't hate it. It's the shade Enchantment. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Okay. Now, for my lid, I'm going to go in with this green here because I have been loving green, obviously. And just in case you guys were wondering, this is the China Glaze Hollow at Your Girl is what it is. So, anyway, I've really, really been liking it. I think it's really fun. Um, what was I doing? Yes, I'm going to take... I've really been liking these... Uh, Alamar brushes that we got in our previous boxy charm. I have really been enjoying them. Been using them a whole whole lot. Okay, so I'm gonna put this shimmer on. Hmm. Does not look too popping to me with the brush. I'm gonna go in with my finger. Usually that. Oh yeah, finger is the way to go. You see that difference? Usually, that's the case with shimmers. I really like this shade. I don't know if I have another shade exactly like this in my collection, so that's pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. trying to be a little bit quick because I thought that I had more time than I actually do to get ready which is the case a lot with me um I get that from my mother I swear it it runs in the blood um but yeah so we are trying to do our makeup fast here now I'm going to take that sneak peek shade here, just that dark, like chocolatey brown, and I'm kind of nervous because you can really go overboard with a dark color fast. So I'm really hoping this isn't like extremely pigmented actually. Oh yeah, that's nice to work with. very nice so it's been a while um, we've had two hurricanes come through here recently I live in South Carolina so luckily you know by the time it got to us it was kind of more like a tropical storm but 
poor North Carolina has got hit twice in a row. I really feel like South Carolina, like, knock on wood, but um, I feel like we're in a good area. I feel kind of like the storms always, like, they always go around us, and uh, we just, we, we get really, really lucky, and um, I'm really appreciative of that because while I, I absolutely love the weather, like, I am a weather nerd as well as, like, a space nerd. Like whenever there is something going on, you can bet your girl is researching it. Um, but I like to look at it, you know, I don't like to experience it. What else has been going on? Um, oh, <laughs> watch the Khabib and Conor McGregor fight. Definitely feel like I got my money's worth out of that uh, pay-per-view. I was not expecting that. And any of you that haven't seen it, which you have to be living under a rock if you don't know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, I've never experienced anything like that before. I really couldn't believe what I was watching, like that that was actually happening. Okay, I'm just going back in with that blush shade enchantment and I'll pull it up here it's the more nude one I'm just going back in with that on my Van Gogh Chase brush the magic brush to blend out these harsh edges and I'm just applying that right on the edge it's gonna bring that like warmth back as well as help me blend out that edge oh and it's just magic love it I understand being cruelty free and I'm all for that but guys I need one natural hair brush like legit also um, I don't know if I've mentioned this on my channel but I have been doing keto probably a month and a half maybe maybe a little bit less but anyway I I haven't lost too terribly much weight just because I wasn't that really heavy to start with um, if you're bigger you know it falls off a lot faster but I have lost how much how much weight have I lost 15 pounds that's how much weight I've lost at this point and um, I started off at like 147 and I am 132 now and in high school I was 125 so um, I'm not saying I'm trying to get back to my high school weight I really don't even want to lose that much more weight but yeah that's where I'm at anyway I, I don't know how I started talking about that I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go in with that blush shade enchantment for my cheeks as well and all of these blushes, it looks like, has some shimmer. These blushes are extremely pigmented, guys. And just to give you an idea, I will give you a swatch. These are all three. They are super creamy, super pigmented. And then there is the highlight. So, super pretty, super pigmented. Um, so basically what I'm saying is if you get this palette, go in with a light hand. And I don't even know if I mentioned the price. The price of this is $38. And I really love a face palette like this that, um, I mean, obviously this one is missing bronzer to be a complete face palette, but I really love face palettes like this. Now, I feel like that looks a little, 
I feel like that looks a little bit heavy. So I'm going to take my powder brush. There's nothing on it. Maybe just a little bit of residue or something from when I powdered my face today. And I'm just going to kind of brush over that. And that's a good trick if you go overboard with the blush. Okay, now I'm going to go into the highlighter that is in this palette. And you can obviously make this a little bit more subtle if you want. Like, it's not a blinding highlight by any means. Um, and I kind of like that, to be honest with you. Because I don't always want a blinding highlight. In fact, most days I don't. And I always use, like, but like I'll lay the product down and then I will use buffing motions like this. And I just think, and I'm barely... What is that on my face? I barely, barely press down. Um, and I just think that it melts the product into the skin. It just helps it to make look a little bit more natural. And you can see how far back I'm holding the brush. The farther back that you hold your brush, the less pressure you are going to use. I feel like always with face products, I like to like dust it on. I don't really like to cake anything on. I would much rather slowly build product up. I have missed filming. I've just been, you know, we just had a lot going on. Um, it's no excuse really, but I just haven't made enough time for it basically um, so it's definitely on me but I'm gonna try I know I said this in my last video but I'm really gonna try to get back on my game I feel like I'm doing really good at this point so anyway I'm done using this palette I really did enjoy it everything was really easy to work with really pigmented easy to blend I don't have any complaints on that palette I am not done with this. I'm gonna put on my eyeliner real quick. And this, guys, this is so old. This is um, from Estee Lauder. It is shade 04, I think it's just brown. Um, it's so short, all I can see is the BRO. <laughs> but anyway, after I use this tip down, this product will be done. So I'm just trying to use it up. I'm gonna put this brown liner on just because I do kind of want that grungy type of a look today. And I'm gonna smudge it out with the smudger that is on here. Wow, that really did not do anything as far as that smudger goes. Um, it's been forever since I used this. I can't even remember. And now I'm going to take, look at this little tiny brush that I got. It is the Morphe M213. I just got it recently in an Ulta haul. I didn't film it, but um, it's just so teeny, teeny, tiny. I love it. I think it's so cute. Anyway, I'm wearing blue and green today, so I thought it would be fun to go into, sorry, this blue shade here. So that's what we're going to do. I wanted that brown to be a little bit more pronounced than it is, but that's okay. Okay, and I'm gonna take my little crease brush 
I'm going to go into Enchanted, which is that blush shade. And I kind of just want to go over that blue as well. Just, it will add some warmth to the lower lash line. As well as just not make that blue so harsh, you know. Because I really do, I want it to look kind of natural. Even though, I mean, let's be real. Like, green's not natural, but whatever. Um, I'm going to go back into that highlight shade. And do my inner corners. Wow, we are really doing a lot with this palette. I don't think it would be one that I would use like every day by any means, but I really like that blush shade and that highlighter to be honest. Um, and all of the eyeshadows were really easy to work with. They're just not like everyday colors. Okay, now we are done with this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is pull out the next item in the box, which is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I have used this before. Um, this retails for $24, which is more than the cost of the box. Um, you're getting a full-size tube, obviously. And this was very... I remember I liked the wand because the wand is skinny, which I like. Um, I remember it being very lengthening. Uh, I'm going to start with my bottom lashes. I remember it being very lengthening, just not that volumizing. Um... But the only one that I tried was like a little sample size, like a deluxe sample. So, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, that brush being crammed into that little tiny packaging, I do think that it uh, messes with the results that you would have in a full size. Um, but nine times out of ten, they're pretty accurate from what I have, you know, figured well, this is kind of clumping my lashes together right there. Like, kind of making them look a little sticky. You know, like little matchsticks, which I don't particularly like. But, I don't know if you can tell that lengthening that it did. So, not a bad mascara. It definitely added value to the box for sure. Um, it's not my favorite high-end mascara by any means, but I do like it. And usually, whenever you use mascaras, once they've been open for like two or three weeks, that is when they're in their prime and the best to use. So, it could just be because this one is so wet at the moment, why it is acting like this, because I don't remember that. Like I'm having to go over and over in the same spot, just because it's clumping them together. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but that drives me crazy. But I do remember liking this mascara and it is hella lengthening. Okay. So, this is worth more than the box. I don't know, guys. Is it worth it? You do the math. All right, I'm going to line my lips really quick because the next product in the box is a lippy. Um, and here it is. It is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I have mine in the shade Hawkwind. Everybody got different shades. Um, so this retails for $20. I have never used a Kat Von D liquid lipstick. Uh, but this is the shade that I got here. And it is kind of a color. It's a little bit darker. 
than what I typically wear, but I do love shades like this. So I'm happy to get a shade that I would typically wear. I'm gonna pull out a mirror because I feel like I need it. This is not a forgiving shade. All right, guys, so that is the color. It is very bold. I am gonna go ahead and spray my face because it is time for me to go. This is the look that I came up with from the box. I do really, I really enjoyed everything that I used today. Um, the total value of the box was $134 and like I said you're paying $21 a month for this box I think it is completely worth it I think that they stepped the box up this time even from last month I really enjoyed this box uh, I'm really uh, curious to try those face masks and the cleansing balm like I've said I've never tried one of those so I am very curious to see how that works out as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It would really help me out. Subscribe if you're not already to catch all of my future videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.